Welcome to my channel Mallorca Under The Sun and in this video we're going to look at the top 10 resorts here in Mallorca. Now this guide is for anyone who has never been to Mallorca before and you just want a very quick overview of the main resorts here on the island. Or you've been going to the same resort for many years and you might want to try somewhere else. Now I'm starting my guide here in Palma Nova and there's a reason why this particular resort gets more views on any of my videos than any other resort on the island and that is because it is the most popular particularly with British tourists coming here on holiday and there is a reason for that because there are these three amazing beaches right here in the resort and the resort is just so beautiful and accessible as well so if you're coming here with young kids or you have accessibility issues yourself it's just super easy to be able to get around now if you want to know what the light nightlife is like here i have a whole video on the nightlife here in palma nova so go and check that out but for the time being you can see that even out of season this resort has to be just one of the most beautiful and one of the best Now, Porto Poyenza has a real older Mallorcan tourism charm about the resort and it's one of my favourite places to visit. But Porto Poyenza is just simply beautiful. It has so many historical hotels in the resort and just the most beautiful seafront, including the really popular Pine Walk. Now, also many of these hotels have unique swimming pools on the front side of the walkway, which literally neighbor the sea too. There's so many places to eat here and it has a slightly different feeling to many of the other resorts here on the island. You're also fantastically positioned close by to Alcudia and to Poyenza Old Town too. So there's so much to see as well in this side of the island. So Alcudia is just about my favourite place to go during the hot summer months during July and August because there is a huge 13 kilometre beach which stretches all the way down to Muro and to Can Picafore and it has the most beautiful white sands and I'm sure you have seen it before in my previous videos but this is a great location for a family summer holiday. Of course there are fantastic water sports such as jet skiing and boat trips but also there's a water park and a horse riding centre too which you can go and try out if you're coming here with kids on holiday. Now don't forget everywhere that I have mentioned here in this video will have a much longer video attached to it somewhere on my channel so just check out the links in the description text below this video and you can read all about the top 10 resorts on the island. Just head on over to my website, mallorcaunderthesun.com and I'll put a link in the description below this video. So there's so much more to Magaluf than just the nightclubs and the bars and the infamous strip which is the main drinking street here in the resort. Of course there's some fantastic beach lined restaurants as well as well as many restaurants in the heart of the resort too. There are also so many attractions including pirates, the house of Kathmandu, the water park and a karting track. So if you're coming over here you're never stuck for things to do when you're on holiday here. There will also be boat trips as well which are leave from the pier on this beach as well so let me take the opportunity now to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already because I'm going to be visiting all these resorts that I mention in this video to let you know what you can do and see as we go on into the summer. So as many of you know Palma Nova links very easily to Magaluf with just a five minute walk and so Ciliot links to Sacoma in pretty much the same way. Now I headed over to Ciliot in the back end of October and what an amazing place to go for a holiday. It is a fantastic resort with a beautiful beach and one of the most unique things about Ciliot is that there is a historical site there from the Taliotic period so if you like to blend your summer holiday with some history as well, this is the resort for you to go. 
It is also super easy as well from Ciliot to walk directly into Sacoma. So this is another case where you get two resorts for the price of one. And again, Sacoma is a beautiful holiday resort with a absolutely glorious beach. There's so many boat trips that you can do from here as well and so many activities for you to enjoy your day. So Calabona and Calamilor linked together as well in pretty much the same way as Ciliot and Sacoma. Now these two resorts as well are extremely popular with so many visitors every single year and they are also incredibly beautiful too. Now if you take a look at the live streams that I have done from this area you can see how the two resorts also link together but Calamilor is just a hive of hotels, restaurants which neighbour the most beautiful beach and there is an amazing walkway all along to a Calabona with its beautiful marina, choices of restaurants to eat in and some fabulous hotels too. So please go ahead and check out those videos for somewhere different to stay to. Now, Pagera is another great option for a summer holiday here in Mallorca. Just like Palma Nova, there are three fantastic beaches here and the water here is calm and it's shallow. But in the winter as well, this is a great resort to come to because it also is popular with surfers and for people coming out here for winter holidays. But one of the best things about Pagera are the wonderful restaurants which line the seafront here on the main beach. Now Calador has a very special place in the heart of so many of my subscribers who go back year after year. Now there is so much more to Calador than just Calagran Beach in the heart of the resort. The whole area is made up of little coves and beaches and it's so picturesque. I mean you have to check out the colour of the water in this area to really appreciate why so many people go back there year after year. There is also an amazing array of family hotels too, which also have great entertainment. And we went there last summer and had a fantastic time. Now, there's loads of things to do in the area of Calador, so please go and check out the video that I made last autumn. And one of the best things to do on the entire island is the dolphin trip, which we did last summer. So please go ahead and also check out that video too. Now, Playa de Palma is also really super popular with our German friends and it is made up of the resorts of Campastilla, Cala Estancia and Arenal. Now, there is a fantastic, huge, long six kilometre beach which you can enjoy, as well as an array of bars and restaurants and also, if you're in the party mood, some amazing nightclubs as well which rival Magaluf. But there are also plenty of activities around the Playa de Palma area, not least because you can easily get the bus into Palma City to go sightseeing, but also because there is a water park nearby and Palma Aquarium too. So this is another fantastic resort to check out if you also want to be really closely located towards the airport. So Santa Ponza is another fantastic choice for your summer holiday. There is an amazing beach here as well as a really vibrant resort centre. Each side of the beach is lined with restaurants and bars but one of the best things about this resort is being able to walk around the coastline here and discover little hidden coves and beaches and head on down to the Cross of Discovery which is a great lookout point and down to the marina too. Now, one of my favourite things to do here in Santa Ponza is to walk all the way down to Costa de la Calma to go and watch the sunset from the El Chiringuito bar. So we're going to head over there now and go and check it out. Now, Costa de la Calma is just a short walk away from Santa Ponza and there's a great choice of hotels here to stay, some really good family hotels too. But the experience here is just a little bit different from Santa Ponza Resort Centre. You've got some really nice swimming off the rocks here, which means that you can go to the beach and be sand free. As well as this uh, lovely little Chiringuito, there's a lovely walkway here that just comes along the coastline. So definitely worth either staying down here or walking up here from Santa Ponza. 
Now in the summer months here, it does get quite busy down here. A lot of people congregate to have some evening drinks and some tapas and watch the sun go down. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite places on the island to come if you want to watch the sunset here in Mallorca. Okay everyone, thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And there is a longer article that you can read about the top 10 resorts here in Mallorca on my website, which is mallorcaunderthesun.com. Don't forget to come and join me on my Facebook group and on my Instagram too, also called Mallorca Under The Sun. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye for now.